OK, ever since Niels Bohr came up with his model for the hydrogen atom, uh, we've had the idea of the quantum jump in our minds. And the idea is here that we have the ground state and the excited state of an atom. And if I shine some light in, then what happens is the atom goes from the ground state to the excited state. And it does it instantaneously. And that's the notion of the quantum jump, that instantaneous jump from one place to another, or from one state to another. And then what can happen is at a later time, a photon can come back out again, and the atom comes back down to the ground state. And that's another quantum jump. And the important thing is that it's entirely random. Okay, It comes out at a random time. And the question is, can we see this? And the answer is, yes, we can. And the way we do that is by actually trapping a single atom inside a vacuum chamber. We can look in through the window with our eye and actually see the single atom. That's because this process happens very, very quickly if I shine a laser in here. 10 to the 8 times a second or so. And that's plenty of photons for me to be able to see with my, my naked eye. So what I then do is I think actually the atoms are a bit more complicated. There's another stable here, I'm, uh, sorry, state here I'm going to call M. And that's a metastable state. And if I shine another laser in here, what can happen is the atom can go into that state. The important thing here is now it stays in this state for a very long time on an atomic scale, maybe up to a second or so. What happens next is, after a second or so, it comes back down to the ground state. And the important thing is that whilst it's sat up here, it can't do this. And so what happens is the light switches off. And it does that entirely randomly, but I can see it. So the light goes on and off and on and off in a completely random way. And that's actually seeing quantum jumps.